2023. It's time now for better food. And Chef Mike Truss from Craft Kitchen in Southington is here. Two of Kara's favorites, corn and crab. Yeah, and I've, you brought them both. There we have it. It's not very common to find a crab chowder or a crab corn chowder, but when you do, it's so good. Is this is one of the things that people are coming to Craft Kitchen for? This is something we're doing for the season coming up with a change of uh, from summer into fall. We have all these wonderful flavored items. The corn is in its height right now, so it's a perfect time. To the corn is as high as an elephant's eye. Absolutely. And it looks like it's climbing <laughs> clear up to the sky. <laughs> oh, so what a beautiful dish. Yeah, Happier. how do we get started? So this is a simple one pot chowder. This is one of my Oh, soups. one pot, Kara. I love the one pot meal. <laughs> <laughs> so we would start rendering our bacon um, briefly, two, three minutes, just until some of the fat comes out of it. We add in um, all of our veg next. We're doing things like uh, celery, leeks, and the sweet corn with some onion. Um, the uh, turmeric, potatoes, the lump crab. You do a little bit of vegetable stock, you bring it to a boil, and you simmer it. Yep. Uh, probably about 15, 20 minutes, and our finished product comes out looking something like so. Oh, you're going to bring it out, yeah. Wow. We <laughs> That's quite something. <laughs> so, Craft Kitchen, this oh is something God, that we run. We probably run three to four different soups a week. Um, everything's made in house from scratch. Uh, Craft Kitchen is huge. This time of year, we gotta uh, we start transitioning into fall ingredients: squash, pumpkins, um, heartier dishes. A lot of local purveyors that we use in Southington. All the stuff on the table here came from three three different farms right in Southington. This is Caribbean Farms. This is uh, Leaf Farms. Uh, our display was even from Lewis Farms. So everything so is local. Everything we try to use from that season, that area. Can you run through the steps though? Yeah, we're gonna show people so at home. Gonna... So we've got that, and uh, we have a super fast induction stovetop over here. So as long as we so don't move that pan, it'll stay on. But you want to? Bacon is such a big thing right now. I feel like it's in all these. Excuse me. It's the big trend bless on the menu. You. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you. So yeah, absolutely. Bacon. Uh, you you know you get that smoky flavor. It uh, gives you with that fat that you're looking for to cook everything, saute it proper. And we have your recipe right on your screen there, Absolutely. but we're going to show you. So um, if I'm reading that correctly, it does say a half a pound of butter. <laughs> yes, that is for the roux part of it at the end. So you're going to mix that half pound of butter and the half pound of flour in a separate pan. To thicken it later. Thicken it wow. later. It goes right in at the end. Is that, you want to try it, Karen? Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. I'm going to bring myself a little bowl. So this is um, all fresh ingredients. And tell me about some of the other big menu items that people are loving at the Craft Kitchen right now. We do a ton. Craft Kitchen is just a from scratch menu, and it's um, something that people really have taken to. And it's 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 across, like my background is Italian and kind of a southern soul type thing. How, where did you learn? Did you professionally train? Or yeah, I went to school in Brookline, Mass, for okay. culinary school. Oh, excellent. I lived in Boston for like almost six years. Out in California for a year. And then you came to beautiful... Uh, you came back home to Southington, Connecticut. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we're happy to have you. Thank this you. Appreciate so it. This is so good. All right, so you continue to cook this up? Yeah, you're just going to sweat the vegetables so they release some of their moisture. At that point, you just add everything to it. This right here is our cubed potatoes, just like the recipe says. Now I and noticed okay that was in some water. water. In there? Yeah, okay. yeah. You keep the way that we keep them from turning brown is you kind of cover them with water just to keep them submerged. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't use them right away, they're going to turn brown. So, and you have. It looks like you've got celery in here. Are there leeks too? There's leeks. There's onions. The sweet corn, and uh, we're also going to add in our vegetable stock. I, at the restaurant, I take the actual corn cobs, and I'll make a stock out of that. Really? Yeah, great. Yeah. So once wow. you cut all the corn off, you take those, uh, cover them with water, add some bay leaves, some other spices, and you bring it to a boil, and it kind of takes on that flavor. And but here's the recipe our... again that people can see. Um, we'll, of course, have that on our website, and you can always watch these videos again on BetterCT.com. But, so then you would add the stock and... Add the stock, bring it to a boil. You've got the, all your ingredients go in once the stock is in there. So you got your turmeric, a little bit of Old Bay. You want to dump that in yeah. so we can show people? Absolutely. This is the corn stock? This is, yes. So corn stock, you just put corn on the cob like in water That's and then it, that makes corn stock? Absolutely. Oh, and it no. takes on some great flavor from it. All right. And so we'll, this will actually, on our stove, probably boil pretty quickly here in our final two minutes we have. So, so now this is our Old Bay and turmeric. Oh, Old oh. Bay. Okay. I just, that's so uh, funny. I just saw that in the supermarket. I was looking for salt and I looked up and there was Old Bay and I was like, I wonder what you do with Old Bay. Absolutely. One of my favorite potato chips are Old Bay. And what about crab? Did you get this? Is it okay to get it in a can? Or you... Absolutely. It yes, is? Yes, definitely. As long as you get a, a pasteurized product, I mean, you could actually go out right now, uh, crab fishing is great, but if, yeah. <laughs> if you don't have the time or patience to do that. But is there a brand that, or like, I know you like to be fresh and local. Is there, we use a Maryland crab, so any of like the seafood 
purveyors that you'd like to go to, any Whole Foods, uh, any kind of markets like that. So get the crab in the can and that's okay, it's all real. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. You can do any kind of cut you want. I use, the, like for the chowders, we use um, a mix with the uh, claw. So it's not too, too crazy expensive because you can get it all the way up to 30 bucks a pound. Yeah, 40 it can be really pound. expensive. And you make your own bread too. Which yes, the focaccia is, is the, um, something we do at Craft Kitchen every day. And um, that's complimentary. We do roasted olives and focaccia, and what better garnish for a crab and corn chowder? Wow, roasted beautiful. olives, that sounds delicious. All right, you can visit Craft Kitchen in person on Meriden Avenue in Southington. Yeah, and there's a lot more information online at craftkitchenct.com. And we'll go see you. It's, oh my gosh, awesome. this is so good.